We're here today to talk about a product that has been all over the YouTubes lately. Yes, it has. It has been crazy hyped, crazy, just like, it's actually been hard to get our hands on because everywhere appeared to be sold out of it that we knew to find yes. it. Yes. It was very strange. Yes. But I went on to CamerReadyCosmetics.com, which is an excellent website to order a lot of really great makeup online, and I found it. I found it for $12, and what we are talking about is the original RCMA No Color Powder. So this stuff has been talked about, I think like Kathleen Lights talked about it, I think Young Wild and Polish talked about it, all kinds Lots of Lots of people have been talking about this. Um, I'm just gonna bring up my first issue with it. This packaging is absolute trash. Like it's mine exploded packaging. when I open it because it's I like a salt, it's like a season shaker uh -huh. type thing, and it's like when I first opened it, I just heard it go. Pfft. Yeah, and, and there's the little powder. the little um, cover thing, the protective cover, explode popped up, and powder just poured out of it. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I did to mm -hmm. make that happen, but this packaging is garbage. It's yeah, it's garbage. Not. It's hard to get into to get the powder. It's not ideal. Like, it, I don't know. Um, so we got three ounce bottles yes. for $12 each. That's not good. a bad deal. That's I good. like it, especially if it's been that hyped up. Um, all uh, Camera Ready Cosmetics, it took maybe, I don't know, four days to get Something to like us. Something like that, yeah. So the website that we ordered it from is really great. Yep. Now, my first thought when I heard about this powder was um, I have already had and for about a year now I have had the Ben Nye neutral set now it doesn't look like I really use my Ben Nye neutral set but I do use it quite often it is a colorless powder very similar the bottle is literally half the size of the other one they don't have the same ingredients they don't they don't so they're not the identical no. products but they are similar and we'll get to that here in a second I think this was like eight dollars for a one and a half ounce bottle hmm. So, everyone talks about this, that it is the greatest setting powder ever in the whole wide world. I use this for my under eyes. I use this all over my face. And I've tried it two ways. I've tried using a brush to apply it and then mm -hmm. tried using a beauty blender to kind of pack it on to kind of bake and then wipe it away. And I don't know if our thoughts are kind of the same on this. I don't think this is anything special. I don't think it's anything special either. Okay, so we're on the same page. Yeah. I there don't. is nothing special about this powder. I don't understand why people super love it. I still walk away from using this, and I don't use a lot of it because I don't like using a lot of powder. I like mm -hmm. enough to just set everything. Mm -hmm. Still looking powdery. I know that was one of the selling points I think um, Kathleen Lights made is it doesn't it doesn't look powdery. It doesn't look like it's drying out your skin, which is weird because she's super dry skin. I'm super oily, so you'd think I could handle more powder, right? No. This stuff, it's still like it's still it's like any other setting powder. There's nothing special about this. Yeah, I don't see anything special, and I honestly don't see the difference between these two at all. Um, like, I've been using this for a long time. I really, really like this, so I really like this as well. However, I just don't see the difference. And if you have one, you don't need the other. Like I, because I had the neutral set, I didn't necessarily need this, but I wouldn't have known unless I had tested it out. Yeah, like this Maybelline powder. Mm -hmm. I hauled this a while ago. This is almost identical. It has. Um, a couple, it has talc, silica, and dimethicone. This is talc and silica. I don't know if the dimethicone makes a difference, but this one I actually like a bit more. Mm -hmm. This one is, it's kind of pricey, I guess, for zero, um, 0.21 ounces, it's 10 bucks. So it's pricey yeah. for a drugstore product, but I still, I really like this. It, the little that messy as well. This one? Yeah, heck yeah, it exploded all like over me. Powder, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's it's powder. powder I can't get it, it clean. I can't. The powder yeah. is just going everywhere yeah and then there's one other powder that I wanted to kind of compare these two and that was the makeup forever HD powder um, yeah this is a super pricey product this is the hundred point perk that you get from Sephora mm -hmm. and as far as I can tell there's also really no difference between this one this one or the RCMA well, I compared that to the um, elf HD powder in sheer mm -hmm. which I know is supposed to be a dupe for the makeup forever HD powder there's there's no difference. There's no difference between any of these. There's there's nothing special about the RCMA mm -hmm. powder. It is just like any other white white translucent sort of no color HD powder that mm -hmm. you could possibly get. This like if you're finding like we did that it's sold out almost everywhere, don't stress. This is it's not special. There's nothing amazing life-changing about it. It's just a setting powder. Correct. I mean, if you want a nice 
no colored setting powder. Absolutely. It's good. It's Especially nice. Especially three ounces for $12. Yeah, sure. Grab That's, it. The price makes it special. The price with size makes it special. But other than that, yeah. I don't know. They're probably going to start jacking the price up now because it's getting so popular. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, let, you know, get it if you can. Get it if you can. I'm glad we have it. Like, I mean, I'll, get, I'll use it. I'll use yeah. it all the time. But I just don't get, I figured it was going to, like, change my face. Yeah, the way that it was being hyped up, I thought mm -hmm. it was going to be, like, the most br life-changing, breathtaking, mm -hmm. most amazing set your foundation without leaving you with any sort of powder look to your skin mm -hmm. type deal. And Me no. too. No, it's not, it's not anything crazy unique. It's as good as all the other powders out there. Correct. So, that is our review. That is our thoughts on the brand, or not brand new, the ever so hyped up. RCMA No Color Powder. Yes, indeed. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below. Click! If you haven't done so already, so you can hang out with us. Hang out. Let us know what other stuff you guys want to see us look at. We like spending money, obviously. <laughs> yes. Yes. And we will, we want to grab up some of the hyped up products around the uh, YouTube land and see if we like them as much as everybody else does. You know? Just offering our two cents, y'all. Yep. We'll see you guys very soon in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys!